How's it going guys? My name is McKinsey and this is episode 21 of my daily design series. So in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing a, a client project I've been working on. So I've had the pleasure of working with Chris over at GoRails.com and helping him craft the, uh, the visual styles of his brand moving forward. For those of you who do not know, GoRails is one of the best sites for uh, learning Rails. There's a lot of uh, beginner sites and there's uh, some advanced sites and GoRails is in between and helps you make the jump from beginner to advanced. So some of the goals we had for this site were we wanted to explain what GoRails was all about and what value you get when you sign up for it. And then finally, GoRails has some fantastic guides that walk you through the process of setting up Rails or deploying Rails, etc. Um, so I wanted to make sure to feature those as a uh, important part of the homepage design. All right, let's go. So GoRails is perfectly situated in the middle of the spectrum. On one hand, you have the beginner tutorials that teach just the very basics of Rails, and then you have the advanced stuff, which uh, for a lot of people is super confusing. Um, and there's this big, big dip, big gap between the two. And GoRails sits right in between the two. So the idea here was to uh, visually express that through the use of the graph to show uh, this is where you are before you join GoRails and this is where you are after you join GoRails and apply the knowledge that you're learning through the screencasts. Uh, the whole concept around this design was based upon leveling up your Rails knowledge.
So this is one of the most important elements to this design in my opinion. Uh, it allows the user to quickly and easily find the content that they want to find, um, which is also the most important aspect to uh, the GoRails business model, which is the screencasts themselves. Uh, so I wanted to allow filtering between the latest, uh, the free stuff, the pro only stuff, and the most popular stuff. And then if uh, they can't find it through the filters, they can search for something specific. And based on this design, uh, I wanted to have it be an Ajax type uh, filter system so it wouldn't actually reload the page, it would all happen dynamically.
All right, guys, that wraps up episode 21. I would love to hear your thoughts on this design. And if you're interested in learning uh, Ruby on Rails, I would really recommend checking out GoRails.com. It's a uh, fantastic resource for learning Rails. Be sure to come back here tomorrow for another design. See you guys.